the impact of a huge epidemic, like a flu epidemic, would be phenomenal because all the supply chains would break down. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Burnt Breast Homestead channel. I am just basically thinking out loud, and I'm curious to know what you think about this. Bill Gates, co-founder of Microsoft, is one of the richest and most powerful men in the world. In 2015, BG talked about the next big thing that would kill millions of people, not being war, but a virus. When I was a kid, the disaster we worried about most was a nuclear war. That's why we had a barrel like this down in our basement, filled with cans of food and water. Today, the greatest risk of global catastrophe doesn't look like this. Instead, it looks like this. If anything kills over 10 million people in the next few decades, it's most likely to be a highly infectious virus. In 2015, Bill Gates talked about the next big thing that would kill millions of people, not being a war, but a virus. And five years later, Two years prior to the outbreak, BG announced that he was teaming with Google co-founder Larry Page to provide $12 million in funding for a universal flu vaccine. He said the funds would be awarded in grants of up to $2 million for individual efforts that are bold and innovative, aiming to begin clinical trials by 2021. So what's the next big thing? Well. BG is the largest private owner of farmland, owning about 269,000 acres across the United States. Farmland is a good investment in the age of rising inflation. If one of the richest men in the world thought it was worthwhile to sell most of his stock in a company that made him a multi-millionaire, to diversify his portfolio, to include several hundred million dollars of farmland, that should tell you something. Farmland is an extremely crucial resource in that it is needed to feed billions of people around the globe. If there was another stock market crash or economic crash, farmland would likely appreciate even more in value. How many people have you heard say, I want to be a multimillionaire and choose farming to do it? Although there are many farmers that have a net worth of a million dollars, there aren't many farmers that are multimillionaires. So why did one of the richest men in the world buy so much farmland? In addition to owning farmland, BG also owned stock in John Deere. You need equipment to run all that farmland. And he owned stock in Waste Management, the largest waste company in the United States. And Ecolabs, which describes itself as a global leader in water, hygiene, and infection prevention solutions, as well as Canadian National Railway Company. For now, Rails are a must to move products and resources. And BG isn't alone. China has also purchased farmland in the United States. All this acquisition of farmland has raised some concern. On another note, you know those seedless fruits people enjoy so much because of the convenience of eating the fruit without any work? Well, it's kind of difficult to grow food without seeds. Can you imagine if we get to a point where most of our food is seedless? and we have to depend on a company like Monsanto to provide seeds and or crops for us? That would be horrific. And it's scary to think of a company having a monopoly on seeds, genetically modified seeds at that, with patents. What's crazy is you have these wealthy people and countries buying up farmland, but we can't convince friends and family to plant a vegetable seed to produce their own food. The wealthy and powerful have been telling you what's coming for decades now, but people are so accustomed to the new norms, like harvesting fruits and vegetables from the produce section of the supermarket and hunting for a prepackaged chicken and beef in the refrigerated section. To me, the most powerful skill you can have is being able to provide food for your family and community. Knowing how to amend soil, plant and save seeds, harvest and preserve food. But if you believe that people are over-exaggerating on being prepared for an economic collapse, food shortages, or a recession, then don't do anything. But for those of you who are working hard to be ready for the next event, 
I encourage you to keep going, but be mindful not to neglect family, friends, or fun in the process. Well, that's it for this video. Please share your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for listening.